How often have you seen a speaker mesmerize an audience? Was it their compelling content, their stories and examples, or did they have the ability to reach out and give you the impression they were speaking just to you? Have you ever been that speaker? Have you ever dreamed of being that speaker every time? Welcome to Executive Presentations, How to Inspire Action and Commitment. In case we have not the pleasure of meeting, I'm Patricia Fripp, Sales Presentation Skills Trainer, Executive Speech Coach and Online Training Expert. What you will need to do if you want to be compelling and persuasive every time is one, understand the creative process and you need to be involved. A presentation does not start with a PowerPoint. That is one of the last parts of your presentation. Two, once you have the content that is going in your presentation, we need to organize it into a logical structure so that you can remember and so can your audience. You need to make an emotional connection so that everybody in your audience feels he is talking just to me. Your stories and examples need to be memorable because although we use words to communicate, our audience remembers what they see when they listen to us. It's helpful if you can open with impact and close on a high and tie it together in a bow in a circular technique. We want to help you have razor sharp specificity so it's very clear what you're saying. Obviously, if you have a PowerPoint, we are going to add that after and then do not make the mistake of thinking, I have my content, some opening scripting, my closing scripting on a high, the PowerPoints together, I'm done. No, you are halfway done. Now we have to rehearse to get it into your body. So remember, the creative process, what is the content? The simple logical structure. How do we connect to the audience and add our stories? And then how do we deliver it in a way that we don't have to think? It is programmed into us so that you can focus just on the audience. And that is partly how you inspire action and commitment. Perhaps you can relate to this situation. I got a call. Patricia, help! As you know, we are a $2 billion software company with aspirations of being $20 billion. The work you've done with our managers, executives, and engineers has been fine. Now we need you to work with our president. He's not a bad speaker, little shy, an engineer. He's going to be here next week and we want you to work with him because this is not a company that has any rock stars. We want you to write him a speech and turn him into our company rock star. And you've got four hours. Well, fortunately for me, he took this process very seriously. And that was just the first of many occasions. And what you are going to learn is what the process was and how you can do it to put together a compelling presentation. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started.